ACA and make their finals at the 100 breaststroke. Easton will be out very fast, much faster than Liesl. But on paper, that's the way it should work. But what's Liesl got? I think this is going to be a racing two. Lanes to watch. Uh, four and five. Leaston picking E4. And Leaston Jones in lane five. They're starting very strongly in lane seven. Yes, Sally's a great 50 and 100 breaststroker. But Leaston Jones, this is a pretty good start for her as well. But look at Leaston pick it go. She's the, the second of the black caps there. She's at the bottom of the screen. She comes out much higher than Leaston Jones on her stroke. And sit, sitting there right with them is Sarah Katsoulis. So that's it. Could she be the spoiler for Leaston Jones trying to make her fall for the big game? Very strong second 25 from Katsoulis. So Pickett, Jones, Katsoulis. And the three look like they're going to race it out. Pickett and Jones are the two to watch. It's going to go bob for bob. Pickett's still in front. Liesl Jones, great third 25 though because there was quite a deficit to make up on the first 50. Can the youngster Liesl Pickett hold it together while the old girl really just chases her down? Look at Liesl Pickett go. The two big guns are out in front. Can Jones really pick it? Pick it still in front. She's hanging on bravely. Jones throwing out the challenge. But it's going to be Leaston Pickett who's going to knock over Leaston Jones. But it'll be good enough for Leaston to go to the Olympics number four. That's an amazing performance by Leaston Pickett. She wins the national championship in the 100 metres. Her dad in the stands watching her. Congratulations to all those who've got her ready. She's trained by Glenn Baker at Southport of the big home of the Commonwealth Games in 2018. Right, so she's got a torn cartilage in her hip. She needs surgery, but she's delaying it, delaying it, delaying it. She's going to have to delay it some more, I think. She will. She'll have to delay it till after the Olympic Games. But this is an amazing moment for Liesl Jones as well. Four Olympic Games. No swimmer in history has ever done it. A unique piece of sporting history here in Adelaide. The first Australian swimmer to make four Olympic Games in just 26. A remarkable effort. It is, and she did it in a pretty good time. 107.64, Leaston Pickett. 106.88, she wins the 100 metres breaststroke that Lisa gets there. Sarah Katsoulis, third again at a third consecutive Olympic trials in this event. Wow. She was very, very speedy off the start, Liesl Jones. You don't normally see that from Liesl. And she took it out, I think, out of her comfort zone in the first 50, but she knew she had to do that to try and match it with the speed that Leaston Pickett has over the first 50. Let's get out of Howie. Well, Leaston Pickett is here. Leaston Jones is still sucking them in. Uh, Leaston, a wonderful race. Your first Olympics, it's a massive moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty pleased. So just happy to have made the team. You went out very hard and very strong as you need to when you've got Leaston beside you. Well, that's it. I'm racing the best in the world, so I know that I've got to go out hard, set, set up, use my front end speed and hold on to what i got left. We've seen some wonderful reactions in the crowd. I think we actually had a shot of your father. There he is in the centre of stage. Uh, He's obviously a big part of you and your family. Just look at him, just trying to ride you home. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have my dad here. He hasn't come to many of my races, so it's great to have him here. Just so that I got his support. How many swim lessons has he taken to you over the years? <laughs> plenty, plenty early morning, so thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad, indeed. You're looking on at this. I've never seen you like this. You're really sucking them in. Um, struggling a little bit, so... I've been battling a little bit with something all this week. I'm not sure what it is, so... But look, mission accomplished, though. Lisa, the true champion. Love you, girl. Uh, look, we only had to get first and second. That's all we had to do tonight. We've done that. Lisa's off to her first Olympics. I'm so excited to bring you along. Uh, so, uh, look, that's all I could have done today. It's the best job I could have done. Got to try and get over this and uh, be better for London. Book my ticket. I don't care. I'm so stoked. Liesl Jones, ladies and gentlemen, you first went to the Olympics at 14. The first woman now to go to all four Olympic Games. No Australian swimmer has ever done it before. It's a massive historical moment. Does it mean much to you or is it just another record along the way? No way. It means so much to me. I mean, it's just such a great experience. And to be around for 12 years consecutively, it does get a little bit of the same old, same old. But... I mean, it's just so exciting to still be around, to see so many great swims and also trying to help the youngsters. We've got um, little Georgie Boll in our squad. She's 14, so same age I made my first Olympics and just trying to look after her, trying to you know, build her up to be one of the best breaststrokers in the future. So 
It's all about looking after the little ones. We want to keep them strong. We want to keep them, you know, pumping along. Hopefully, at least we'll bring on our future of women's breaststroke. Um, she's got a pretty similar name to me, so uh, hopefully I'll be cheering for you after this Olympics. So uh, really excited about women's breaststroke. I think it's going in great places. We didn't have this type of technology back at the Sydney Olympics. Would you like to put your name just uh, in here, Jonesy? We can have a look here. Here it is now. The women's qualifiers, the breaststroke. In the 100 metres, Leaston is in. Liesel, you're going for the fourth time. You might as well put your name in, I think. Over there, champ. You need to get your hand on there. Just touch it. Drag it over. Drag it on. Four Olympics, ladies and gentlemen, for Leesel Jones. Leeston Pickett's on the way to her first. And they're pretty tight through the best run. Great of you, and uh, great to see Lisa Jones and Lisa Bigelow. I love there, and uh, they're a big team, aren't they? A fantastic team, and we should say well done.